hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by to watch today's video so guys in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i make this simple but delicious macros to recipe this recipe is so good and easy to make you can enjoy this too with your rice your yam your pasta or anything you feel like enjoying it with okay and please if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe after watching this video give my video a thumbs up if you like it all right guys let me walk you through the ingredient for today's recipe and let's get started so over here is my puree tomatoes and here is our mackerel fish I have my cut celery and over here I have my sliced tomatoes and here I have my red sliced onions and over here is my bell peppers and here is my butter or my margarine I have my extra virgin olive oil you can use any oil of your choice and over here is my fresh rosemary I got this directly from my garden if you don't have a uh, fresh rosemary, you can as well use fresh basil leaves, okay? And here are the list of the spices that I'll be using. On my left hand side is my mustard seasoning. If you don't have the mustard seasoning, you can use a uh, curry powder or turmeric powder. I have my whole dry basil leaves. I have my granulated uh, garlic powder. I have my onion powder. And I have my, and I have my cube. And of course, our salt to test. So let's get started. As always, the list of the ingredients will be on my description box below, okay? So feel free to check it out. So first, I'm going to start by seasoning the mackerel fish. I'm going to season it with a little pinch of salt. I'll sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder. Sorry, not garlic powder, onion powder. <laughs> so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder as well. And I'm going to add a little bit of the fresh rosemary. Next, I'm going to toss it around. So I'm going to be setting the fish aside so that the ingredient that we added earlier on will be infused into the mackerel fish. So over to our pan, I'm going to start by adding my butter so the butter is melted and I'm going to add my extra virgin olive oil then allow the oil to heat up for a while so at this point the oil and the butter is well heated I'm going to add our sliced red onions Fry the onions for 2 or 3 minutes so that the onions will be a little bit soft. So at this point the onions is soft and tender. I'm going to add my fresh rosemary. So these are all the combination of the spices I introduced to you guys earlier on. I'm going to add it into the salted onions. At this point, the fragrance or the aroma coming out from this rosemary. Mm. Oh my my. So it is now time for me to add my puree tomatoes. I'm just going to cover it up and allow it to fry for some minutes and at this point make sure you are frying it on a low to medium heat because you don't want your tomatoes to burn and uh, the reason why I'm going to cover it is because of the splashes I'm getting all over my kitchen this is the part I hate like I hate it whenever I'm cooking stew and the, the splashes is all over my stove that is too much work so I'm going to cover it but make sure you keep an eye on it so at this point my mackerel fish is out from the fridge 
this is the marinated mackerel fish i'm just going to put it on my baking pan then i will send it into my preheated oven if you don't want the graining method you can as well fry it but i try as much as possible to reduce too much oil intake okay so let's check on our stew as you can see there's no single bond when you notice that the oil has settled on the surface of the stew that is a clear indication that our stew is fried and uh, at the end of your frying if you notice as swear that your oil is too much you can go ahead and drain the excess oil keep it or store it for later use so at this point i'm just going to allow it to fry for some seconds again before we start adding our next ingredient so let's check on our stew so at this point i'm going to introduce the next ingredient Point I'm going so at this point I'm going to add my sliced tomatoes. I will add the bell peppers. I'm going to add the celery. I'm going to cover it up again and allow it to simmer for two minutes. So, guys, while the mackerel stew is boiling over there, I'm going to start by boiling our rice because we'll be pairing this stew with rice. I'm using the long, I'm using the long grain rice. guys the mackerel fish is out from the oven it smells so good and it tastes super amazing so i'm going to add it in our stew now sorry i keep transferring my pot from one end to the other because i really want to use the front stove that is why you see me exchanging my pot from the end to the other. That is why you see me exchanging my pot from back to front, from front to back. <laughs> so at this point, I'm going to add our mackerel fish. So I'm going to add my cube. This is my first time of trying this cube. Probably recently got this at the store. It says a uh, cosmet. So I'm going to add it now. And then uh, it's a uh, tomato flavor. 
This is how it looks. It's made up of tomato flavor as well. This tastes so good guys, it tastes super good. So I'm going to cover it up and allow it to simmer for some seconds and our stew is as good as done. <laughs> Guys, our macros to recipe is ready. It tastes amazing. And over there is my white rice. I'm just going to serve it now. As then I'll serve it now that is very very hot. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of today's recipe. This recipe is very very easy, but trust me, it tastes super amazing. If you don't have mackerel fish, you can as well use the tin fish or any kind of fish that you have, okay? It works perfectly for this recipe. Thank you so much for watching today's video and to my new subscribers, thank you for joining my family and to my old subscribers, you guys are so much appreciated. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.